Hey guys, Mr. BXRP here, and welcome back. Today is February 6th of 2020, and let's get started. I'm, I'm, I'm right here on uh, Fiat Leak, my, uh, one of my favorite sites, and um, we're actually over 28 cents, been over 28 cents most of the day, at least since I got up early this morning. Um, bounced a little bit, I think, under, but it looks like we're doing really good. Um, so I wanted to show that to you guys. I'm going to go back to Fiat Leak in just a little bit because I have um, I have some more information about Fiat Leak that I want to share with you. But let's get back over to Coin Paprika and look at the market. Okay, so Bitcoin is at 70 or 97.46 um, on the seven day. It's up 2.76 percent. Ethereum is at 212, up 17.85 and XRP is at 28 cents, up 15 and a half percent over the seven day. So really, really looking good. Um, XRP is interestingly, it's moving up like, you know, it's like a penny a day. I mean, we're slowly kind of creeping up. And, you know, is this the normal, you know, is this the normal market? Is this the, um, is this actually utility raising the price? We just don't know. I mean, is XRP kind of leading the market? I mean, we, we just really can't define this right now. Um, but I will, uh, you know, if if the utility is raising the price, I will tell you this, and I'll remind you of the conversation I had with David Schwartz. When I asked David Schwartz, does, does he see slow and steady being the way that XRP rises? And his response to me was the problem with slow and steady is if, if it starts slow and steady and continues slow and steady, it will not stay slow and steady because the moment speculators see it's slow and steady, they're going to buy it up and it won't be slow and steady any longer. So I'm not saying we're at that point yet. I'm, you know, this is, it's too soon, but, um, but I'm watching it. I'm watching every day. We're creeping up. We're creeping up. I like it. We're moving in the right direction, but uh, you know, we're, we're certainly not out of the woods yet, but uh, but I think there's cause for optimism, which which brings me to, let me jump back over to what Brad said. So so here's my read on it. I don't want to get into the whole Brad Novogratz thing. Uh, you know, Novogratz got enough enough press in the last couple of days. Um, but one of the things that I read into Brad's comment, and I think many of you might agree with me, is Brad speaking about the value of XRP is about as uncommon as a purple unicorn um, that's half Bigfoot. <laughs> so, you know, it doesn't happen. He doesn't talk about the price. So, so the fact that Brad is talking about XRP and, and bragging about it outperforming BTC makes me feel like Brad's pretty darn confident in what's going on in the market. And that's my read on that. And if Brad's feeling very confident about the price of XRP enough to where he stuck his neck out and made a statement about it and compared it to Bitcoin, um, that makes me very bullish. And maybe that's just me, guys. But uh, I kind of, after a couple of days of thinking about this, that's 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 the big news that I got out of this is Brad being bullish. Okay, so wanted to share that with you. I'm moving on. This is this is a PSA. This is a public service announcement. Okay, so look. A lot of people, including myself, have had small deposits put on their address for their ledger from people who we don't know. Okay, What they do is they put a very small deposit on your ledger. I've had two deposits in the last week, and all I ask of these scammers is if you want to make deposits on my ledger, please make them big and hefty, and thank you for the money. Um, but but here's the problem, guys. This is serious. So if if you open up your ledger or you open up your live ledger, you're going to see these uh, transactions. Don't click on them. Okay. Now I can't tell you exactly what they're doing, how they're doing it, how to protect yourself. But I'll tell you what I do know and what I've been told by people um, that I respect uh, in in using ledgers is don't click on these transactions and don't be taken to the website they want you to end up at because that's where they're going to try and fish you okay they try and they try and figure out who you are they try and get your private keys they try and figure out whatever they do whatever these scammers do so i have been told that even though these these deposits are on our ledgers our ledgers are fine our crypto is fine don't worry about it just don't click on these 
deposits. Leave them alone, ignore them, don't do anything with them, just leave them alone. Okay, so that's what I know for now. Anybody has more clear information, more concise information, please share it with me. Put it in the comment section of this video. DM me on Twitter. I'm happy to share with everybody what you know and, and if you can help educate the community. I'm just looking to protect people and that's why I'm bringing this up. I know I can't give you guys enough of the technical stuff that maybe you might want to hear uh, and I apologize for that but but I can give you what I can give you and, and, and I can just warn you that it's going on and be careful, okay? All right, the other thing is um, I've been on the road all day for work, so I did get a call from, from somebody in the community. Um, uh, actually, it was a, a coining 203 to tell me that the SEC had made an announcement. I haven't had a chance to dig into the news, but apparently um, um, Hester Pierce had made some sort of an announcement for, uh, for crypto companies that if they're going to come on board and launch their projects, that I think they have three years to not look like a security. So it sounds like they're going to be some sort of a um, grace period they're going to give uh, companies to get up and running. Um, but once again, I don't have all the information on this, and, and maybe it's already out there and available while I'm doing this video because I haven't had a chance to catch up in the last couple of hours. Um, but let's keep our ears open and our eyes open to what's happening with that. Um, also, the ODL seminar uh, webinar that was yesterday, um, I, I was unable to, I, I did ask Ripple for permission to tape it and release it, and, and they asked me not to. So um, I didn't do it. Um, so, so that's why I won't be sharing it with you guys. Uh, it's not something they wanted me to do. I know that other people have and it's available. So if you want to see it, um, I think it's readily available out there. But I, I didn't want to do it without having their green light. And, um, and I respect them for, for whatever decision they make. Um, I, think, I think it's just it's important. Um, so moving on, let's see here. All right. Uh, I saw Bob Ross make this statement, and Bob owns Coinfield, um, and also he's behind Solo. So he said, in order to play a bigger role in the growth of XRP Ledger, the Solo core team has proposed to introduce a program to offer a bounty to 10 qualified entity developers who launch an XRP validator in 2020. Um, this will be covered through SO, uh, to Solo Community Fund. Okay, so he here's... There's been a lot of talk on Twitter about not enough validators, not enough Ripple customers building validators. Um, so I guess this is fantastic news. Um, I don't see why it's bad news. And, and I give Bob Ross uh, credit for, for putting his money out there and offering to do that. I think that's a great thing. Um, which brings me to another, another topic. When I hear that Solo's building on the XRP ledger, you know, from where I come from, which is not a technical background, I don't fully understand what that means. Are they building on a layer on top of the ILP? Are they building on a layer on top of RippleNet? Is it just completely independent? And if it's completely independent, then how's it building on the ledger? Like, I don't understand the mechanics of that. And I've been asking a lot of people, and a lot of people can't give me the answer. So, uh, suddenly I'm not feeling so bad for not understanding. So the reason why I'm sharing this with you guys is I'm looking for someone to be able to educate me on what it means to build on the XRP ledger. So I need someone out there in the community that wants to talk to me um, that maybe isn't too overly um, technical that's going to fry my brain, but you can explain it to me in layman terms of what does it actually mean to build on top of the XRP ledger. I want to understand it and I want to explain it to you guys because I think a lot of people want to understand it. A lot of people are, are embarrassed to say they don't get it. I don't get it and I want to get it. So anyway, if anybody's out there, um, send me a DM, put a comment in this video. Tell me if you think you can help me understand it. I want to get a full understanding of what it means to build on the XRP ledger. Okay, hope you can help me. I really, really would appreciate it. Um, moving on, uh, okay, this guy, uh, digital at Let's see, invest in future X said, make you wonder why the hell the only person Arthur Berto follows is Roger Ver. It is kind of funny that that uh, Arthur Brito follows one person, it's Roger Ver. That's kind of cool. I mean, obviously they're friends because Roger Ver was an early in, um, uh, he was an early uh, in, employee actually at Ripple, not even an investor. I think he was an early employee at, at Ripple and, and from what we understand he's the third largest uh, bag holder of XRP which is kinda cool um, but I think that was interesting. Alright so Curse Wang had a had a tweet today um, 
40,000 followers. He's celebrating. Um, good for you, Curris, uh, for BitTrue celebrating 40,000 followers. I think that's that's a big thing and a big deal. Um, let's see what else I want to talk about. Oh, I want to go back to Fiat Leak. All right, so so here's the deal. I contacted the owner of Fiat Leak and asked him um, if he would be willing to, you know, I don't know, do an interview or answer some questions, or I, I want to understand how this site works too, just like I want to understand how the XRP Ledger works, right? So um, he he's been very nice. We've ha we've been having back back and forth DMs over the last several days and I asked him a bunch of questions this morning and he answered them. So I'm going to give you some of the information, not all of it, because I still have to figure out the rest of it because he is a little bit technical. Um, but I wanted to understand what are these um, XRP uh, logos flying in the air? What does it really represent and what does it not represent and, 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 and where is it coming from? So so here's what I'm going to share with you so far today. Um, and, and I apologize to the owner of Fiat Leak. If I say anything inter incorrect, you correct me, and I will correct the record, I promise you. So I'm not going to go too deep into it. But he's plugged into 62 different exchanges, okay? And let's see, every one of these um, flying logos that you see is, is Fiat to crypto, okay? So one of his the secrets of his sauce is you're not seeing... BTC to Ethereum. Okay, that's why it's fiat leak, right? You're not so but but the thing is when when we're watching Coin Market Cap or or Coin Paprika and these other sites, all of the volume they're showing is all of the assets that are moving, right? So what fiat leak does is they only show you fiat to crypto with with the exception. Now this I found interesting. The only exception is tether to crypto so they treat tether like it's cash okay so for whatever that means um, and, and he said when they do that then when they do that there's an asterisk next to it so people know when there's a and I think that's on the left side over here whenever there is some sort of a transaction that has to do with tether they do note they do have a notation that it is a tether transaction so which kind of brings me to a conversation I had with the digital asset investor in the last 48 hours he called me up and he said you know he noticed that Fiat Leak's price seems to be higher sooner than Coin Market Cap or Coin Paprika, and eventually they catch up. And I asked the owner of Fiat Leak about this. I said, "Well, how is it that you kind of seem to be the leading indicator of where the price is going?" And um, and and he seemed to think that the way they're doing it between Fiat and crypto ends up being a lot more accurate of what the price is about to be and it ends up giving him more accurate information so I'm not saying that's true I'm not saying it's not true I'm just saying that's my understanding of what he said um, but but it is kind of interesting that the that the price tends to follow where fiat leak seems to be going so I thought that was interesting it's something I wanted to share with you guys um, and, and I hope you find it interesting as well. I will continue to share information about this site with you as I learn more and can decipher more based on the conversations I'm having with them. Um, but I think everybody's been intrigued by this site, and um, and I think any any more we can learn about, it, I think is very helpful. So let me see what else I have here. Um, I think we're good. I think I think the last thing was here. I think the last thing I was going to say was never give up on a dream just because of the time it will take to accomplish it. The time will pass anyway, right? So patience, right? We've had patience through this bear market. We're starting to move in the right direction. I think everybody's kind of, you know, I know we're only at 28 cents and some people are going to put comments, we're only at 28 cents. But guess what? We're not at 19 cents anymore. We're moving in the right direction. It's all about percentages, guys. And here's here's the truth of it. Every penny matters, okay? And that's a relative statement because if you have a million XRP, every penny matters. And if you have a thousand XRP and it's relative based on your income and means, it should be relative that every penny matters to you too. So you need to look at that. Look at what a penny, what every, every time XRP goes up a penny, what does it mean to your bottom line? And I guarantee you, for most people, 
it will relatively make a difference. And, and I think every penny matters, and, and I'm happy. A penny a day, uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, a penny a day keeps the creditors away. Keep those pennies coming. I want to see those pennies. Keep them coming every day. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so that's it. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not an accountant. I'm not a crypto tech wizard, as you guys can tell. Um, and, I'm, and I'm not a crypto expert. These are my opinions only. Don't make any financial decisions based on anything I say. This video is intended for entertainment purposes and educational purposes only. Please like and subscribe, and please subscribe. And thank you, everybody who's subscribing. I'm, I'm, I'm now got my eyes on 10,000, if you guys can help me. And hit the notifications button and share with anybody who you think might do the same. Um, and if you have any questions for Fiat Leak, um, put them in the comments below. And also, if you are the type of person that can help me understand building on the XRP ledger, put that in the comments below, or you're welcome also to DM me on Twitter. I thank everybody for listening, and I appreciate it. Have a great day.